passion I've always had for business and being an entrepreneur that, tra that transfers into the Mavs, I I've always been passionate. You know, personally, I think every time's a perfect time to start a business. There's no bad times. If, if you do the work, if you do the preparation, you'll know when it's time. And it doesn't mean that it won't be a little bit scary, but you know, it, it's, you'll know. And you don't have to quit the daytime job if you, if you don't feel all that comfortable and you can give it a run at night. Um, but whatever works for you now with the internet, um, you've got all the choices in the world and you can just go out there and do your own thing and, and you know, set up a business part-time. Just to go after it. I mean, the thing about being an entrepreneur is there's, it's just all to you. You know, a lot of people like to make excuses. I don't have connections, I don't have money, I don't have this, but you know, if, if you find something that you like to do or love to do, be great at it and see if you can turn it into a business. And worst case, you're gonna have fun doing what it is you love to do. And best case, you can turn it into a business. I, I'm just not big on excuses. I just think if you really, you, everybody has that opportunity to go for it, they just gotta do it. Some people thought, you know, it's, a, it's more OCD than anything else, which I think is a, a great trait for an entrepreneur. Um, when I, you know, I mentioned the stamp business, I would stay up till three, four in the morning, even though I had to get up and go to school, and read Lynn Stamp News and Scott Stamp Journals and have them all memorized and, and use that to give myself an edge. Um, even when I was in college, um, I'd be in, li in the library reading business books and just looking for business biographies and just reading all I could about business. Um, when I had micro solutions and you know I started with no money, you know I, I'd pull all nighters. In, in front of borrowed computers teaching myself software and, and how to program. One of the things that companies do or startups do, they come up with an idea, they'll Google it, and if they don't see it in the first two pages, they think it's original. You've got to go back, right? Because over the past 15 years, there's so many different businesses that have tried and failed. You have to go back and find those and learn from those. So you've got to understand all the implications and you have to learn from history and so the best advice I can give you on a video before talking to you or emailing with you is that you've got to find out the history of people who have tried your idea because there's a 99.99999% chance that your idea has been tried before. That's not a good reason not to start it because you might be able to outperform them but you better learn from the history of your idea because um, you know what they say about people who don't learn from history. I've always just really enjoyed just the, the competition of business. I think, you know, in, in the sports business, I'll talk to, to our players and it'll be like, well, you guys compete for 48 minutes and you practice a couple hours and you work on your game independently a couple hours. But the ultimate sport is business because you have to compete with everybody and you have to do a 24 by 7 by 365 days a year forever. And there's always somebody out there trying to kick your butt. There's always somebody who looks at your business and says, I can do that better, I have a better idea. And you're, you have to compete with that person. And all the while you have to make your customers happy, your employees happy. It, it's, it's the competitive side of me that, and any entrepreneur that I think that, that has to drive you. And, and I think that carries over into the Mavericks. I, I want to win and, and I want to compete. 99% of small businesses you can start with next to no capital. It's more about effort. You know, small businesses don't fail for lack of capital. They fail for lack of brains. They fail for lack of effort. Most people just aren't willing to put in the time to work smart. I mean, they, they, they go for it in a lot of cases, but they just don't recognize how much work's involved. And, and, and if you do the preparation, if you know, if you start a business, you better know your, your industry and your company better than anyone in the whole wide world because you're competing. And to think that whoever it is you're competing with is just going to let you come in and take their business, obviously that's naive. And I think most people don't recognize that. If you're going to compete with me and one of my businesses, you better realize that I'm working 24 hours a day to kick your ass. One of the big things that all startups do is they lie to themselves over and over and over. Mine's faster, mine's cheaper, mine's better, mine's this, mine's that. No, it's not. And, and the reason it's not is because whoever it is you're competing with, it's not like they're ignoring you. It's not like, oh my goodness, this guy just started on Shopify in the startup competition. He's doing a million dollars this year. Woe is me, I might as well close up the doors. What are they doing? I'm gonna copy what they're doing. And now you've gotta stay ahead. And so, you know, you've gotta be very careful as an entrepreneur to be brutally honest with yourself um, and those are some of the things that you'll hear from me as a mentor.
that you know, know what you know, know what you don't know, but you've got to know your business better than anybody.